Matt, uh, you've probably been two or three years now in the Wallabies setup. Do you feel like you're sort of an established member of the team? Uh, a little bit, I think. Um, I guess having that starting exposure last year, it's, um, I guess, learned a lot about myself and, and my game, and, and hopefully it'll take that this sort of into a, a big year this year. How do you feel like the Wallabies are placed? Obviously, a little bit of disappointment World Cup wise. How do you think we've responded to that? Yeah, absolutely. I think. Um, so sort of the Australian teams didn't start particularly well in the Super Rugby, but they're starting to find their feet now. And um, I think a lot of the guys hadn't played a lot of Test Rugby before and will have learned a lot from last year. So um, definitely really confident. And obviously, we're second in the world and, and want to become the top team in the world for sure. The game against Scotland in Newcastle, where is Scotland ranking? I mean, I know we've got a, a famous game against them where they sort of won in, in Scotland. Yeah. Where will this rank, I guess, where, where does Scotland rank as an opponent for the Wallabies? Um, I think any time you play against a, a European Test Nation, it's always huge. I think they have a huge following and, and obviously take their rugby incredibly seriously. So um, they'll be coming here to win and um, it's a, a great opportunity to, um, I guess, play in Newcastle and obviously play against one of the, the, the top teams in the world. Uh, just in the, the fact that it's coming to Newcastle, is it you know is that a sort of a boost? Do you think that's something that you get it out to the to the regions like you know not capital cities, and you've got those kids sitting in the stands, and maybe rugby starts to get more of a following by taking it out of capital city? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's it's great to come to a place like Newcastle and just um, speaking to the people and the excitement they've got for the game, it's um, really great. And obviously, hopefully, get a good crowd and, and they'll get right behind it. I guess, I mean, proof that a stadium like this, I mean, they've just gone out of their way to build this sort of stadium and it's for rugby. Yeah, absolutely. I think anywhere you can get good facilities, it attracts the kids and it gets, um, I guess, makes things a lot easier for everyone. So um, yeah, it's, a, it's a beautiful stadium they've got here and, and it um, looks like it's doing a great job. Against Scotland, um, is it a game that it'll be more like a warm-up or do you think that, you know, the guys take it 100% seriously? Uh, it'll have to be 100% seriously. I think you can't play against another... It's, a proud nation like Scotland and, and take it lightly so uh, I'd say it'll be a strong team picked and, and we'll have to be at our best to win. Um, obviously with a lot of guys playing on that Saturday night leading into a Tuesday game it's be interesting to see what the coaches do but um, I think if you ask anyone they'd be keen to play and, and um, certainly if, if, if given the chance we'd definitely love to play.